So if you are a job seeker and you have completed your Azure Data Engineer course, then I'm going to share you which topics you have to more focus on before attending Azure Data Engineer interview. Really guys, this video is going to be really helpful to you. What type of topics and what type of scenario based questions and what type of technical questions may, may ask in the interview if you are attending Azure Data Engineer interview. So without wasting our time, let me show you my laptop screen. Here is the document which I have prepared already okay, uh, for Azure Data Entry Preparation. So mostly, so firstly you have to focus on Azure Data Storage Solution. Azure Data Storage Solution is the most important topic you have to prepare. Uh, what type of topics you know? Azure Data Lake Storage, Azure Blob Storage and Azure SQL Database and Snippets Analytics and CosmoDB. Then what type of questions may I ask in the interview, you know? So suppose you need to store unstructured data for a video streaming application with heavy read operation. Then which Azure storage, storage solution would you choose and why? One of the most used scenario based entry questions is this one. There are multiple Azure storage solutions are there. Then which one you choose in this scenario? Okay. So you have to prepare very well for this question as well. And a client needs globally distributed NoSQL database with low latency for a real-time transaction. Then how do you architect this using Cosmo TV? So this is for high-level experienced professionals like about six years, seven years experienced candidates can prepare for this one. Okay. So anyhow, you have to prepare some uh, technical and scenario-based and some scripting and uh, coding-related interview questions from these concepts as well. Okay, don't forget prepare for this one. Azure data log lake storage and blob storage. Most used, so most asked uh, entry question from these topics. Okay, and next uh, Azure SQL database as well. Okay, and uh, next one is like uh, Azure data factory you have to prepare and uh, data flows and linked services and pipeline. So you have to prepare these concepts as well. Azure data factory, Okay, so you may ask question, what type of questions may uh, ask in interviewer uh, in interview? Okay, so like uh, explain the process of creating data flows in ADF and the transformation cable is available. Okay, suppose you have given task with migrating data from on-premises to Azure. How would you design a data pipeline in ADF to handle this? So this is most asked question entry question guys for the Azure data engineer. Suppose there is a uh, task is given like uh, migrating data from on-premises to Azure. How do you design this? How do you design data pipeline in area to handle this? Okay, you have to prepare this. So like this, the entry panel, you will check whether you have worked or not. Okay, so you have to focus on Azure Data Factory concepts and data flows, linked services and pipelines. And you need to build an ETL pipeline to clean, transform and load data from multiple sources into single destination daily. Then what are the steps and uh, uh, and what are the steps and considerations uh, in setting up this pipeline in ADF? Okay, you have to prepare this one as well. So these are uh, these are the only sample tasks only which I am providing. So you have to prepare more and more technical, scenario based, logical, and uh, some scripting and coding entry questions as well. Here are the some. So the next one is the most important uh, and highlighted topic if you are preparing the Azure Data Engineer. That is nothing but PySpark topics. In PySpark, the first one you have to focus on PySpark data frames and transformations. Most important one. If you want to survive in IT industry as Azure Data Engineer, this is most important one. PySpark data frames. Here, yeah, select, filter, group by, join, aggregate functions, and chaining transformation. What type of questions can you tell me? A few examples you may ask. So, how do PySpark data frames different from Pandas data frames? They may check your knowledge with comparing with other technology as well, similar technology. Like uh, in Pandas also, there is a data frame concept is there. Then how it is different from PySpark data frames and Pandas data frames? You should prepare for this answer as well. Can you explain the purpose of lazy evaluation in Spark and how it impacts the performance? You have to prepare. And uh, you have a data set with customer transaction and you need to calculate the total purchase amount for each customer. Can you explain the transformations you would use? What type of transformation you use for this uh, scenario? Okay, and a data set contains millions of records and you need to filter it based on the multiple conditions and join it with another large data set. Then how would you optimize these transformations in SpySpark? So like this, they, they can ask, the interview can ask, uh, like this, the interview panel, you check your 
some scripting skills and logical thinking and some how you are utilizing your PySpark uh, topics uh, in real time environment. So the entry panel is to check guys. So these are the few of the sample entry questions I have given here. And next topic is RDD. RDD and data frames most important guys. So whenever you are attending any Azure data engineer, mostly one or two entry questions you can definitely face from these topics like uh, understanding when to use RDD and data frames and uh, RDD transformation like a map, a flat map, reduced by key and data frames API. So you should prepare, uh, you must prepare these topics guys with uh, practical knowledge, not only theoretical. So you know uh, some questions like uh, when would you use RDD over data frames in Spire and why? You have to prepare for this one and what are the limitations of RDDs compared to data frames. And also here are some scenario based uh, questions like uh, describe a scenario where using RDD would you more appropriate than data frames. Okay. Suppose you have a semi structured data where schema enforce enforcement is not possible. Then how would you process this data using RDD in PySpark? So you have to prepare some scenario based questions and some uh, scripting questions as well to check your coding skills also from these topics from RDD and data frames. And next one is a data processing and aggregation spice path where most of the entry panels are they check some queries and scripting questions from this topic guys. How you are going to using windows function, aggregate function, custom aggregation and handling nuts. Okay. So a few of the sample tasks I have written here. How do windows functions work in spice path and when would you use them? Okay, and explain the difference between group by and windows in SpiceBar. And you need to calculate running total and moving average for each customer transaction over time. How would you implement this using Windows function? Okay, and describe how would you handle data set with missing values, <coughs> especially especially in numeric and categorical col columns and ensure data quality for aggregation. So you have to prepare more and more some scripting as well, scripting coding. Questions as well. And next topic is optimizing a PySpark jobs. So if you are a if you have more than four years or five years of experience, can then some optimization PySpark optimized questions also you can expect guys like uh, catalyst optimizer, tungsten and caching data frames, broadcast joints and partition. Okay, so like mostly they can check like uh, when would you use cache and versus persistent PySpark. Suppose you have two large tables and uh, face performance with these joints, then how would you use a broadcast join to optimize this? Okay, like this they may ask like. And next one is error handling and troubleshooting in Spice Park as well. So they used to check some error handling and troubleshooting also if you have more than four years or five years of experience candidate, like uh, the concepts logging, exception handling in Spice Park, common Spark error. So they may ask uh, what type of challenges, what type of errors, Spark errors you face in your current project. So whether you are working or not, they, they can check with your uh, relevant skills by this question only. Okay. And handling out of memory errors and understanding in Spark UI for debugging. Okay. Uh, here I have given some few of the sample questions. How would you handle Spice Park job that is repeatedly failing due to out of memory errors? Okay. One of the most uh, frequent last entry question, this one also. Explain the process for using lags and Spark UI to troubleshoot slow running Spice Park jobs. Suppose uh, a Spice Park job is running slower than expected. Can you explain how do you diagnose the issue using Spark UI? Okay. So you encountered a serialization error with a complex UDF in Spice Park. How would you resolve it? So like this, they may ask and check your technical skills related to error handling and troubleshooting in Spice Park. This is the most important one integration with the uh, Azure Databricks and Azure Snippets. So you have to set up the PySpark in Azure Databricks, connecting to the Azure Data Lake Storage, integrating with Azure Snippets and scheduling jobs is most important one guys. You have to prepare all these things. Okay. Integration part and streaming with the uh, PySpark structure, structure streaming, watermarks, triggers and uh, stateful processing. Okay. You have to prepare these concepts as well. And um, next Azure Databricks. Okay, so Azure Databricks are very important guys, this topic also. Azure Databricks, Azure Snippets Analytics, and uh, SQL versus Spark, and uh, Delta Lake, Data Pattern Storage, you have to prepare this one, and uh, prepare some scripting and coding questions also, along with the technical and scenario based questions. Here is some few of the Azure Databricks related questions. Describe the benefits of using Azure Databricks over Azure 
snippets analytics for big data processing what is delta lake how does it improve the data lake functionality and uh, your organization needs to process a large volume of semi structured log data how would you use databricks to handle this efficiently like this they may ask questions and the next topic is you have to prepare data security and compliance as well you have to prepare some role based access control manage identities encryption data masking azure keywords you have to prepare these topics also from these topics you have to prepare each and every topic like uh, scenario based real time and uh, scripting as well guys few of the examples few of the entry questions have been here explain how our bsc works in azure and its application in data engineering okay real time and scenario based entry questions related to data security and compliance next one is the real time and data real time and uh, batch processing azure stream analytics event hubs azure iot hub kafka integration these topics also you have to prepare if you have more than 5 years of experience can it next one is this is the 3 years experience candidates also you should prepare data modeling and architecture concept like the star schema and snowflake schema dimensional modeling data partitioning data partitioning and indexing you have to prepare these concepts here 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 are this a few of the entry questions i have prepared what are the pros and cons of using star schema versus snowflake schema in azure snippets okay and uh, can you explain how partitioning works in azure sql data warehouse and its impact and performance okay so like this you have to prepare for each and every topic these are the most used topics uh, in azure data engineering interview and also if you want to survive uh, as a experienced guy with azure data engineering technical skills so these are the important topics and also you have to prepare uh, python also uh but i didn't mention python topic python also important guys are azure data engineer python topic is also very important now okay, if you are interested to enroll azure data engineer interview preparation and mock entry program then share your details to this mail id i will contact you and then i will explain more details about this um, uh, interview preparation program hope you find a right useful information to prepare for azure data engineer interview so if you really love this information and if you want more videos on various technologies like this then share to your friends and like our videos and if you are visiting our youtube channel for the first time subscribe to our youtube channel for more latest videos so thank you for watching